Hello everybody, this is Beach Cricket. Um, I had a video earlier um, showing some of the items that I started purchasing as I'm downsizing to get my goal in line for either being in a camper van or an RV. And what I'm doing is, as I sell things in my household, I am purchasing things that I feel that are going to be beneficial for my new life. Now I've bought most of the items um, online or you know in stores but recently I came across a few wonderful deals when I was thrift shopping like this one. This cool made little container here has the DC outlet This is what the inside looks like. The little control here on the end to plug it in. The blue right here is for when you want it to be cold. It goes into your um, cigarette lighter in your car. You flip it this side, that is for heat. If you want it to be used as a heating unit. Um, these usually go for around well, $100 on the average, sometimes a little lower, sometimes a little higher. It just depends on the brand name and all that. And I picked this up for, I think it was like $12. And I'm like, well, if it doesn't work, it'll be a little cooler. I can use it at the beach or whatever, you know, or in the car or whatever. But it worked. It works fantastic. So, score! So that was a real fun little thing um, this week to find. I also came across these at the Dollar Tree. I love going there. Um, it's so many useful products there that you can get reasonable. Of course, it's only a dollar. But these heavy-duty um, storage bags are going to be great for putting, like, your clothes that you want to put neatly, like shirts in one bag, pants in another, socks, underwear, whatever, and have them sealed so that they can stack neatly in um, storage places instead of being all clumped up in in containers this will be easier and neater and they were only a dollar for each extra extra large bag so I really thought that was a, a wonderful find I also was watching a video on YouTube and Nomadic Fanatic came up with uh, this little device and I went oh my goodness that is exactly what I want because I wanted something that I could pump water, you know, and make it easy and, and um, convenient and also take it outside to uh, the picnic table if I wanted to, washing hands, anything I wanted to do, have it much more convenient. And he um, kind of reviewed this little thing and I loved it. I was like, I am buying it. And I went and bought it right after I watched that video <laughs> later. Um, so that was a wonderful find also. I also got an Ozark, and this is wonderful. Ozark Trail Warm Foot um, Sleeping Bag. And I found this at a thrift store. And I've already washed it and made sure that it's nice and clean and smells good and everything. But um, $7, I believe, I got for the, for the sleeping bag. And I wanted to get one, and it's really well, well made. It's a really nice one. Okay. I found this little lantern also. I was walking in a flea market yesterday. And it's a Coleman, and it's battery operated. It was only $5. And I knew it was battery operated. And I was thinking it only took, like, from the bottom here, I thought it would be only one of the big batteries. But it actually takes six six volt battery so that's going to be kind of expensive you know because they range anywhere from three or four dollars to to nine dollars a piece so but it'll be convenient when I want to have it so I think that's going to be okay the one thing that I really was excited about this week was finding these BPA free bottles um, they have handles we're in here, turn it around. So you can grab the jug really easy. And it's also another convenient 
item for when you're going um, camping, picnicking, and in my case, a lot going to the beach. They also have a travel size with a little handle as well. And I'm trying them out right now, so that's why, you know, to see how convenient they are and and they're passing the test wonderfully. Um, I found this water container, and this is a Reliance, and I've been online looking at them. You know, I see that most of the uh, people that are online, they have several containers, you know, stored so that they have water, and I like the idea, so I've been looking for them, and I've gone online and looked for them. Well, again, I was walking through um, a thrift store, and I found this for like three dollars. So of course I picked it up. I thought that's that's wonderful because they're they're expensive. They're I, the ones that I've seen are around fifteen dollars a piece. Now on the BPA um, situation for this, if a lot of you don't understand what that's all about, I'll tell you. It is a bisonol and component is a chemical and it's found in a variety of different things because we have a lot of things made out of plastics and um, they're they range from human health problems you know because of because of it and um, it's more higher risk of certain cancers reduced fertility birth defects um, diabetes the BPA is the main component and um, of this hard clear plastic that causes these these problems. They're like in baby bottles, food storage containers, and other items, even like contact lenses and CDs and some electronic devices. Um, BPA is um, just in so many things you wouldn't even realize that it's in dental sealants. But from a lot of the things that I've been reading, it's it's not good for you. So if you're going to go with something to drink in, go with a BPA-free um, plastic so that you'll feel safe and that you won't have to worry about it. Okay? So that's a little information tip for that. So these are the things that I've purchased this week on my journey to freedom of um, living you know, the way of life that I think that will make me happier. I am struggling every week going through closets and drawers and freeing myself up of all the stuff that I have that's not going to be in my life any longer, that I will not be needing. And um, they're on Craigslist. I've been giving them away to people. I've um, just been doing many things, so it's like a daily journey every day, and I reward myself with a few of these items that you see here that I'm going to need for my next journey in my life when I sell something. So I won't buy anything unless I sell something, because there's no need in bringing a bunch of stuff in when you haven't removed the old stuff. So that's my journey, and that's what I'm doing. I'm so excited for the future. Um, it can't get here fast enough as far as I'm concerned. I can't wait to be going to beautiful places and experiencing things, you know, and be relaxed, you know, most of the time. I'm sure there's some stress involved. I watched a lot of the YouTube videos. It's not all, you know, ice cream and cake. But um, anyway, it's, it's a lifestyle that I think that is going to be essential for my happiness. And I will feel happier and healthier doing the things in nature that I want to do. I want to experience that because that's really what I'm all about. And um, anyway, if you'd like this information that I've shared today, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.